G'day, how's it going? Pro clubs, I mean, the game mode that just won't die. EA keeps spitting, squashing, stomping on it every day, but just like cockroaches, we'll keep coming back. Like they say, family is built in adversity, and well, we are going through some adversity right now. But is there a silver lining? Is there a way that EA can fix pro clubs? Well, we don't have much to go off by, and if we go based off of previous installments, yeah, it's not looking pretty. But with this video, I wanna break down all the latest rumors, all the little breakthroughs that have been shown in the past couple of months, and all the seemingly different changes that are happening to pro clubs, I wanna do it all in one video. All right, let's go. So the first change, I mean, we should talk about crossplay first. Obviously, we were treated to disappointment when FIFA 23 came out and crossplay was nowhere to be seen. Ultimate Team was getting showered with celebrations and praise. I still don't know why. I mean, Ultimate Team had crossplay, but it wasn't very good. It was limited in a lot of features, and truthfully, I thought it would be a lot better. But the idea was cool, right? And what a way to get our expectations subverted. I mean, it virtually took them until the release to say, no, Pro Clubs doesn't have it. They hid it from us, and then months later they apologized and said, look, we still need to work on it. Fast forward a couple more months, and there was a rumor saying, hey, Pro Clubs is gonna implement crossplay in FIFA 23 in December. Yeah. Well, that clearly didn't happen. There was also other people saying that they were able to connect to other servers, other consoles, but clearly those were anomalies, I'm sure. However, for EAFC, there's a lot more rumors and a lot more confirmation regarding crossplay. Just going based off all the leaks, it's almost confirmed that crossplay will be in pro clubs. I guess my only issue is, to what extent? Will it be ass? Or will it be as simple as, hey, anybody from any team can verse anybody from any team? I'm probably gonna opt for the former because EA lets me down a lot. The second change, and probably the biggest one you will ever see in your life, the name Pro Clubs apparently isn't good enough, and so Pro Clubs is now going to be called Clubs. Don't ask me why, I'm still always going to call it Pro Clubs, I highly suggest you do too. I mean, if you say to your mates you want to play Clubs, they're probably going to think you want to go to a nightclub and try to hook up with some bad bunda the third change, and something I actually appreciate, is the fact that they're implementing seasonal competition modes. The same as Rivals, the same as Food. Don't ask me why they couldn't do this last FIFA. I'd tell you, but I prefer not to speak. Anyway, like I said, it's gonna follow the same Food Rivals path. So what you're gonna get is Div 10 to Div 1. You'll get playoffs probably for the first time you play in your club. And depending on how well you go, you'll be chucked in any division. There will be an elite division. There will be opportunity for prizes, I assume, if there's an elite division and if there's a seasonal progress bar. What those prizes will be, no clue. Probably boots, probably hairstyles. Can probably play with thongs, uh, f knows. There might also be club-based prizes. Maybe you can get a fancy little banner. Seasons are gonna be five weeks long and then there'll be a playoff for one week long and it'll follow that same pattern, I assume. So I really like this change. Personally, I think they should cut down the divisions a little bit. There shouldn't be a Div 10 to Div 1. I know if you're in like Div 7, you can match up with Div 9 to Div 5, for example. But in my opinion, just cut it down to Div 6. Make it Div 6 to Dick's Dick? to Div 1, and then after that is the Elite Division. And yeah, I, I really like that change though. The other one, and we were always gonna get this, would be more perks, more customization, and more animations. More animations probably means you slide when you hit the, <laughs> the grass probably flickers left and right more, I don't know. I'd like to see them do a bit more with the perks, make it a bit more sacrificing. You know, you really wanna go for three or four, but you have to choose one. Whereas now there's a couple, but nah. Also, please, can we see these perks shown on the field a bit more? Controversial take, but I don't think perks do anything. I genuinely think they're just aesthetic. They make you think you're gaining better saves in the last 15 minutes, but I, I, I doubt it. Anyway, that, that's all I got from just the rumors and confirmations being circled around. Things can change, but I think everything I've said is pretty certain to happen. For once, I'd like to see more emphasis on pro clubs when they announce the next EAFC installment. For once, I'd like to see them actually try, because my gosh, our community deserves it. Sorry for leaving you on that cliffhanger in the last video, I'm gonna finish that. I've just been a bit busy. Make sure to join the Discord, link in the description, it's plus 1000 members, and it's all about pro clubs. Take care, stay safe, bye.